The main reason I stopped riding shortboards is because I live in an area where it's not very good for a shortboard all that often, and that's what kind of sparked my interest in riding something else, was just basically out of necessity to make what I had fun. I've been shaping everything from normal thrusters to long boards to asymmetrics. I feel like I have definitely experimented with those the most, so that would probably be the one that I think I'm the best at shaping. Lately, I've been shaping a lot of fish boards. I'm probably at my shaping bay every single day that I'm home. <laughs> Usually I used to be like, fuck, it's small again. All of a sudden I was like, what? The waves are so good, I'm gonna surf all day. And I just pretty much surfed all day, every day when I was riding these different sort of boards and just couldn't get enough of it. It's kind of one of those things that like, if you commit to an entire day at the beach, whether or not the waves are good, like you're committed and you, and you spend the day at the beach and it feels really good. It's the best thing in the world. I ride longboards and stuff to, to fill the time in between the swells and often I find myself having the most fun on like the crappy little days when there's no one out. I miss being at the shop when I'm gone surfing, but then I miss being surfing when I'm stuck at the shop. It's a good balance. It's all sort of the same thing. Shaping, you feel like you're surfing, and surfing, well, you definitely don't feel like you're shaping. <laughs>